Hey, welcome to Amma's cooking. Today we'll see potato roast. Urla kandu karakari. Okay. I have peeled and washed the potatoes. Now I'll cut it and put it in the water. Again, even sized cubes we need. Bigger cubes. this is the size of the potato cubes like small cheese cubes you need to cut uh, the potatoes like this all even sized otherwise it will not cook evenly in south indian cooking cutting the vegetables is very very important any vegetable they should be even sized so now the potatoes are cut and ready so like the gas add turmeric powder now this is roughly 6 potatoes <coughs> medium sized i am adding one this is a measurement for okay, one and 3/4 because there is also water in this right you can even add 1 and 1/2 and then add uh, salt later if required okay i'm using tata salt once it boils uh make the flame to sim and let it cook again like suran this should be just cooked like 3/4 cooked not fully cooked it has to be very crisp okay now it is boiling well i am making the flame to sim roughly 4 to 4 minutes 5 minutes it will get cooked as huh? so we just have to check it every 2 minutes 5 minutes over i am checking the potatoes see it's done switch off the gas and drain the water so the potato is well drained now light the gas add coconut oil i'm using coconut oil you can use the oil which you normally coconut oil gives that crispiness around 3 spoons of coconut oil huh? uh udad dal 1 and 1/2 spoons this measurement spoon 1 spoon, One spoon rice here i'm using the smaller uh, the smaller kadai because it's just six potatoes depending upon the quantity choose your kadai i'm um, closing it so that the mustard seeds don't splutter outside red chili is now red chili powder i'll just add the asafoetida powder hing powder this is roughly one small spoon teaspoon of huh? 
that very small stone. So every three minutes, stir it, and it gets slowly done. It will see now all the potatoes are touching the base of the kadai. That's why the size of the kadai is very important. If it overlaps, the whole thing will get soggy. If it is one on top of the other, so even if it is slightly more, go for a bigger kadai, or do it in two sets. Five minutes over. See, after the first five minutes, <coughs> we can increase the flame of the gas a little bit. Somewhere between uh, medium and high, so that it gets done faster. As of now, no need to add oil because it is there. Leave it for another five minutes, and again we can stir. Another five minutes over. Again stir it. See slowly it's getting that brown. Again, three minutes. I'm stirring it. The flame of the gas you need to adjust based on how it is getting done. Now I'm going to make it again sim because it's so that we need to adjust. Okay. So add. Very little, little bit of oil, so that it doesn't get stuck on the base of the pan. See, now it has taken roughly 25 minutes for it to reach this uh, consistency, okay, or rather this crispiness. So every five minutes, or if you are doing something else. Then every now and then, just stir it. Make sure the potatoes don't break. Okay, so you should be very light. Should be very very light stirring, and also adjust the flame from sim to little bit little higher, and then again back to sim. So we need to adjust the flame as well. So every time you stir, keep it in sim for a while, then uh, increase the flame for a while. Again, bring it to sim like that. We have to do that now. I'll add the red chili powder. The chili powder is towards the end. Spiciness again depends upon individual taste. Add the hing and sapatida powder once more, and switch off the gas. Stir it, and the potato karak roast is ready. Urla karang karak curry. Urla karang means potato. Karam means spicy, curry is curry. So potato, spicy curry. Urla karang, kara curry. So this is our urla karang, kara curry, ready.